how to create a spiral pattern effect like this in Affinity Photo. Very easy from a very basic shape. What you need to do is create a circle. So just come over here, create a circle. And with a circle, you can right click and you can go down to layer effects and you can add some shadows. I'm gonna add four in this first example. So four, simply go to outer shadow and set the radius offset all into the central position. Once you've done that, change the color. And I'm gonna go with red for the first one and just change the angle, 270 start point. Then you can go down here, plus, just click there. And that will add multiple shadows. But I don't want the shadow to go on top of the other shadow. So what I wanna do is set the angle to 180. Click here again, and then go for, say, green. And then I'm just gonna go for blue. So plus, again, put that round to there. Click there again, and blue. And the final one, I'm just gonna go again, click plus, and just move that around to zero. Now you can add more than that. You could have 10 or 15, and I'm gonna do that a little bit later in the video. But in this one, I'm just gonna go with four. So change this color again to yellow. So I've got this and close. Well, at this point, if I wanna apply some effects to it, the result is not gonna be great. So what you need to do is rasterize it, turn it into a pixel layer, and also have the effect, that reds, greens, and blues, all turned into the same pixel layer as well. So right click, and then go down here to rasterize. And in rasterize, just over there. Make certain that's turned off, and rasterize. Then press return or enter on the keyboard, and this will bring up this panel, move and duplicate. And you can then click duplicate, and you can increase the number of copies, and you can see very subtle change. But as soon as you go over here and set the scale, you can reduce that down, and you can also change the rotation. And as you do that, so you see, you can increase it, increase it. Now you've got this central pit here. You might want to increase copies maybe to say 60 or 70, depending on the scaling. And you get something like that and click OK. What you then want to do is go down here and select and select all layers. You can also use a shortcut to do it, of course, but select all layers. So also, because that's what they are. They're all lots and lots of layers. You might have 100, 200 layers. You want to select them all, then right click and group. Right click again and then go down to rasterize. So once you've got it rasterized, you can now use selections. So just go to rectangular marquee tool. You could use other ones, you could use circular ones, you could use freehand ones, perfect reason as well, and that will create different designs. And then you can select parts of it. So select that. Go to layer, new pattern layer from selection, and you've got that design. Go to the move tool and select mirror, and you've got that. And you can resize it, move it around. You can always delete the layer, just press delete key, and it's gone. And then go over here, again, rectangular marquee tool, maybe select this area, or maybe use a feather as well, that's another option. So with that selected, then you can go over here, again, layer, new pattern layer from selection. Again, move tool, press V on the keyboard, and mirror. And you can resize this, move this around. You can also apply effects to it. So you can go to filters, distort, and maybe deform, add some pins very quickly, whole range of ones, I'm using rigid, and simply just drag, and you can distort the design, you can see as you do that, just drag it like that, and create some quite unique designs that way, so click apply. And again, you can still resize, rotate, and much, much more. Delete it again. What you can do, again, use this selection, maybe select, like say, central part, and so on, but you can also Apply deform effects to this. So filters, repeat deform, or obviously go to the actual filter itself, but just apply that to create something like that. Exactly the same as before, simply use the rectangular marquee tool, select that area, or any other part. Again, layer, new pattern layer from selection. Again, move tool, press V on the keyboard, and mirror. And you can resize this. And you can see now you've got this weird sort of unusual alien landscape scape effect or texture effect. Now you can use these for overlays, backgrounds, all kinds of different designs. Maybe use it as a text background. You just simply paste it into text or paste it into a shape. So you could use it as a shape. So this design simply, I just cut it. Then you can create a shape, maybe something like that. And then go edit and paste inside. And you've got your lovely pattern design 
inside a shape, which you can then manipulate and modify in many other ways. So let's just remove that. Let's just undo, go back to the circular design. Because what you can also do, hold down the shift and resize it, but also hold down the alter option key on the keyboard and maybe make a duplicate. So something like that. Maybe reduce that one down in size, select both, right click, and again, group, right click, and then go down to rasterize. Just want to turn it into a single pixel layer. Go here, rectangular marquee tool, select over this part, maybe there, then go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. Don't use a new pattern layer. That's going to create a different, completely different pattern layer. And then go over here, select the move tool and mirror. And you can then resize that. You can see you can create many variations just from that very basic spiral shape. Now I've been using just four colors, but you can use more. So let's just go and create another one. So just go here, lips tool again, and drag, create that, hold down the shift so you've got a circle design. Right click, and again, layer effects. But this time, I'm gonna go with say six colors. So outer shadow, also set the radius, set the offset, intensity, and also increase the opacity so it's a lot darker there. But you can use the offset tool. You can move it around, reposition it. Now you have to, every time you click the plus to add a new one, you will have to re-click the offset tool. You can click here and then green, and then green there, and then again, go plus, and I can change the offset, click there again. You have to remember to click the offset. Maybe click for red, let's go for red. And again, plus, click there, maybe go for purple, run out of colors, and offset tool again, so we drag there. Maybe you don't have to drag them all the same size, you can just drag them out further. And again, go down here to plus, click here, blue this time, blue, blue there, offset tool, move that around there. And finally, plus, and I'm gonna go, we could use that offset tool again, move that one there, maybe go with yellow and so on. You can see now I've built up quite a complex design. Of course, sometimes you get overlaps and you're gonna get different colors there as well. So with that, you can get close. Just gonna resize a bit so you can see all the colors. And with that, you can then rasterize that design. So right click and down to rasterize. Again, make sure you click that, turn that off and rasterize. Well, you can use that, just simply press turn or enter on the keyboard to bring this up and just use that for the spiral. But it creates some interesting designs, but you can also, before you do anything else, you can distort this. So filters, distort and deform. And now just add some pins around the edge. Now I could go with the central part, not, but I'm just gonna go around the edge here and I'd say 10 or 15 of them. And then simply just drag in or drag out. And you can create a variety of different designs simply by doing that. And many variations on that. Literally millions of variations can be created. So just drag that out there, maybe drag that one in, and so on. And of course you can always add some more pins, so just add another one there, and so on. You can see it's fairly circular anyway, still sort of very irregularly circular. So click apply, and resize. And with that, do exactly the same. Press return or enter on the keyboard. And you can go up here, rotation and scale. So duplicate, set that on, number of copies. I'm going to go with say 23 initially, but scale, let's reduce that down. Just pay 96 and then rotation. And you can see then as you rotate that, actually this creates even more abstract designs. I think it becomes a more sort of like solid colors effect and you get sort of lovely sort of waved design. And that's what I mean, when you, you can literally create billions of different designs simply by changing with the deform, just setting different sort of stretching different parts out, different colors. Maybe also, you can also apply brush strokes, maybe use blending tools, the mixer, paint mixer, use that and just smear it a bit and then create this effect. That's another option. And you can create, of course, a number of copies if you don't want that white in the center, just increase it to about 40 odd and then click apply. Exactly same as before, go to select and select all layers, or use the shortcut of course. With them all selected, again, right click, group, right click. What I want is rasterize. And now 
You can distort this. You can also apply other effects, but also again, simply just go over here, select rectangular marquee tool, then go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. Exactly the same as before, select the move tool and then resize it and also set the mirror on and you can rotate that, move it around. Just delete that. Exactly the same as before, again, select that, but select different parts. So maybe that part, then layer and new pattern layer from selection. Again, move tool and mirror and resize that. And you can still apply, of course, filter effects like this. You can simply go up here to filters, maybe go to distort and deform, but you can also go with, say, mirror as well. And then with mirror, you can see now just simply with one, it's created an interesting effect, but also you can change input. Just change that, move that around. Hold down the ultra option key so you can actually move it freely. So you can go like that and also change the origin point and create different designs that way and click apply. And you've got a pattern design like that. Again, move that or maybe distort this. You don't have to keep this perfectly regular. Simply go to filters, distort and deform and just add some pins again around that and just drag that out. Maybe move that around. So just position that there, pull it inwards, drag that out. And you can add, of course, multiple pins or as few as you want and click apply. Exactly the same as before. Again, rectangular marquee tool, select that area and then go up here to layer and new pattern layer from selection. Move tool and then mirror again. And you can see you've got that design, which is a very unique, unusual pattern, which of course, again, you can always go to filters and down to distort and mirror and use that. So numbers of mirrors, just one, but also you can change the input again. Maybe go with that, change origin point, move it around and click apply to create a design very quickly like that. Thousands of different designs can be created using this approach with a very basic circle, as well as a couple of additional colors applied to it. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.